Hello everyone, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and uh, back to our test rigor automation series. In today's uh, video, we are going to talk about how to handle a particular web table. In Selenium, in other automation tool, we have seen that we have to handle these web tables. For example, let's see, I really want to click on a specific row. Let's see, for example, row number 102 and the column is actions and I have to click on it. So we have to write complex X path or uh, for loops that we have to write one column by column, row by row or something like this, right? Same thing here. Let's say I really want to enter some value over here as well. Or let's see some web tables are having some specific checkbox that we have to let's see click on Ashton Cox and then we have to click on this particular checkbox which is left hand side of Ashton Cox. So in Selenium we have to use you know two or uh, one or two for loops we have to write or maybe the XPath siblings concept we can write it over here. But in test trigger you don't need to worry about all these things. No need to write about complex XPath nothing. You just simple write a simple plain English sentence that click on checkbox which is available left of Ashton Cox or something and that's it only one single statement it will work fine syntax is super simple simple plain English you can write and the tool is very smart enough to identify that what exactly you want and then it will exactly click on the specific element and that particular table so shall we try that okay so this is my test trigger account and uh, I have just logged in I'll do one thing I'm just going to create a new a test suite name here so we will see all these three examples quickly so let's see the test suite name that I'm going to create this is my uh, web table handling okay and uh, the application URL let's see we are going to talk about this one first so I'll do one thing this is my web table handling I'll say this is part number one okay and then this is the URL that I'm going to use the username password we don't have that OS you can take anyone and then Chrome and then auto discovery zero and then click on create test suite and here you can see that uh, create test suite got created now I'm going to write one first quick test case over here let's see I really want to select the checkbox from Ashton Cox so I'll say that the test case name that uh, uh, select checkbox in web table this is the case so how will you do that you just need to do one thing simple right click on see a simple plain English click on where click on checkbox in double quotes that you have to write because checkbox is a kind of uh, element checkbox to the left of what to the left of whatever the the name of the column let's see Aston Cox so you simple write it like this here and that's it so click on checkbox to the left of Aston Cox same line let's see if you really want to click on multiple checkboxes for the multiple employees then let's see second employee name is something bruno nash or something that also you can write it so let's see i want to click on two checkboxes for these two employees or these two names and then after that click on add and run let's see it is working or not okay so it will start it's in the queue and then here you can see the test got started it will launch the application and then once the web table is visible on the page immediately it will click on those two checkboxes so here you can see that at that set and uh, the test is almost passed click on checkbox left of Bruno Nash and then Ashton Cox here you can see the last uh, the page and uh, let me just maximize it here you can see Bruno Nash first it actually clicked on it if you go back in the previous one then Ashton Cox also clicked on it so in this particular web table at a time you can select only one checkbox either Ashton Cox after that you select Bruno then it will be like this. So this is absolutely working fine and here you can see the test is actually got passed if you close it and test is absolutely working fine no need to write any complex logic nothing simple one line statement and that's it. Perfect so this is absolutely working fine now. Now let's take one more example for example let's see you refresh this application and uh, there are multiple rows that you want to select for example row number one or row number two like this you have to select a multiple rows you can select that so you just need to do what you just need to click on the employee name and the specific row will be selected so in that case like again it's very simple you just simple write uh, click on Ashton Cox and click on Bruno Nash once again and then it will be selected like that so in that case I'll do one thing I just again go back and then let me create another uh, test suite okay 
so this is the web table part one that we have created now i'm going to create for example this is my uh web table part number two and the application url i'm going to use this one and uh, url is this again i'm writing windows chrome machine i mean chrome browser create test suite and again click on add custom test case and then i'm saying that um, select I'm saying multiple rows in web table. This is a, a test case number one. Let's see, I say part number two. Okay. And what we just need to do, we just need to simply say, okay, click on Ashton Cox. That's it. And it will select the specific row over here. So I'm simply click on it. It will select that. So I just need to do what? I'll right click on, or you can say, yeah, click on Ashton Cox. In the same line, you can write multiple times. If you really want to select multiple lines over here, for example, let's see, click on this, click on this. So let's see four rows I want to select. So I'll say, okay, fine. One is something, let's see, Bradley here. So I'll write that. Okay, fine. The second guy is this one. Third guy, I'm saying Bruno Nash. I hope the spelling is correct. And then let's take one more and let's say this uh, Cedric Kelly, something like this. Okay, and then click on add and run. Let's see it is really selecting all the four rows or not. So here you can see the test got started is in the queue. And uh, let's wait for a few seconds. It takes few seconds to launch the browser and after that it will enter the URL and then let's see, see it's clicking on Ashton Cox. So one by one it should select. So in the last screenshot it should give you the four, uh, four highlighted rows you can see that so we will start from the beginning <clears throat> so we will start from here and then you can see first selected ashton cox then it's saying that okay uh, selecting this second guy okay so this is also fine let's go to this one okay bradley gay selected and then three selected bruno nash and then the fourth one is also got selected over here like this and then you can see the final one is over here like that Perfect. So this is also working fine with the web table. It's super simple. You don't need to write any complex thing here. Perfect. So this is also fine. Now let's take one more. Let's take better example that I really want to go to this particular uh, page. This is a sample web table created by test trigger only for the practice. What you can do is that I want two things. First thing is that in the row number 102, where the ID is, let's see, for example, SPK2, and I want to click on under this particular action, I want to click on this, although nothing is happening over here, it's just clicking on it, that's it. And then the second example I want to cover that I want to enter something here as well, something like this. So how will you do that? Because in your web table, sometimes you have a specific link and you have a specific text field also, and I want to enter over there. So how to do this? Okay, so let's take this example as well. So I'll do one thing, I again create a, another thing that is my, uh, web table part number three and the application URL that I'm going to use uh, this one and uh, this is a URL again Windows machine Chrome and then uh, zero auto discovery test cases and then after that click on add this and then I'm going to talk about that uh, I'll say that the test case about is that click uh, on element and enter a value in web table okay something like this that is we have and this is your part number three we are going to talk about i'll share all these things guys uh, you can just go and then directly check it all the scripts you will be able to see that perfect so this is the url that we are going to launch that how to write it is first of all that very simple there are uh simple there are two ways that you can use that first of all see this carefully uh, I'm going to write, see this, click on table like this, okay? The syntax is like this, click on table and uh, which table? Because how many tables are there? Only one table is visible. So I'll say, okay, fine, click on the first table. If there are two tables, you can write first table, second table. So test taker is very smart enough because right now we have only one table visible over here. So I'll say, okay, fine, click on the first table. And in the first table, where exactly you want to click? So I'll say that, okay, at row containing what? At row containing 
let's see i'll say a row containing spk2 or you can say 102 also so i'll say okay fine row containing spk2 and column and what is the column name the column name is you can see actions is the column name so i'll say actions is the column name so click on first table at row spk2 and the click on and the column actions so what exactly it will go it will go to the spk spk2 row and actions column it will try to click on it so we will see in the in the screenshot when test trigger will take it after the execution it is actually trying to highlight this element and it will click on it and then after that i want to uh, enter something under additional data column also so how to write this then again i'm going to write one more step over here so i'll simply say okay fine enter what exactly you want to enter so i'll say okay fine this is a naveen automation labs okay into where into the first table because we have only a uh, one table into first table at where at row and row number i'm saying that let's see this time i'm taking row number 102 on the basis of that you can say spk2 also so i'm saying okay fine at row 102 uh, and the column right you can say at row containing 102 also you can write it and then i'm saying okay column and the what is the column name the column name is this additional data so exactly just copy this <coughs> and then paste it over here perfect so let's see is it really working or not so add and run so here you can see the test got started i'll just open that test and uh, in few seconds it will start okay so it got started let's see it is working or not and uh, awesome the test immediately got passed <clears throat> that's so awesome here you can see that yeah see this is what i'm saying it is actually clicking on under uh, for the row number spk2 under actions column so it is actually clicking on it perfect so that's why it's saying the test got passed over here you can see the description also and then after that enter naveen this is naveen automation labs into the first row i mean into the first table at row number 102 and column this so let's see is it entering or not so here you can see yes see uh, row 102 and under additional data this is naveen automation labs got immediately entered over there that's so awesome this is absolutely working fine here so like this you can easily handle any kind of scenarios in the web table you can handle that right so i hope it's clear these are three uh, really good examples of web table selecting the checkbox entering the value selecting the specific row and the column values and then entering the specific row and column value also we have selected that and multiple rows also you can do that so these are the three four examples that i have told you please try that test trigger is amazing tool guys it's like uh, really amazing very stable for the uh, for automation point of view and the good thing is that you don't need to write any single line of code manual testers functional testers they can easily contribute you don't need to learn about any programming language no java no python nothing simple uh, learn the basic syntax in english and that's it okay and very easy very fast and that's it so please use this particular thing and then do a poc on this uh, test trigger and then if you have any specific doubt feel free to ask in the comment section I'll definitely help you out. Thank you so much, guys. That's all for this particular video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.